Sorry, that's an emotional girly pops because it's my first day in my apartment. This is my only decoration. I literally just moved it. Like I literally just set down the last box and I turned on my camera. Since I happened to be moving in on Fam Friday, I thought we would do a Q&A about why the heck I moved out at 17 because it is an abnormal thing to occur. And I thought I would answer the like list of 10 questions that I get on every post ever. So, it's gonna be a wild ride. It's not gonna be a uh, boring Q&A, I hope. It's probably echoey, is it echoey? I'm so sorry. I'll be getting furniture in like two weeks. I have been vlogging the entire experience though. Like, if you wanna see what I'm sleeping on right now, it's kind of comical. Um, so if you want to go watch the like, basically daily vlogs I've been making of, you know, my experience moving out, then that will be there or down, you know, you know where to find it. But let's just hop into this Q&A. <laughs> Okay, obviously the first one is why did you move out at 17? Why? Like why not just wait till next year? Why not just wait till you graduate high school? I really hope my school doesn't see this. Okay, all these things kind of tie together. Basically, I kind of associated like an apartment with being productive. I know that sounds stupid or whatever, but there are so many projects that I want to pursue and I feel like there's like a mental block that I have because my house it's just like ugly. I hate filming at my house, so that's why I would make a lot of vlogs on my main channel, but now that I have a vlog channel for that, it doesn't really make sense anymore, and like the type of stuff that I wanna make is like more higher quality, more higher quality, more high quality. I don't know, like I wanna start a podcast, I want to, I don't wanna say literally everything I wanna do, but I just have so many goals and dreams that I wanna pursue that I just felt like I couldn't do at my house, and I really wanted to have my own space to do that in, so like I have an office that I will be getting productive in. And also, I, I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna tell you some tea. I'm probably going to be kicked out of school by like 2019, January, possibly. Um, <laughs> and so I don't want that to happen. And then for me to start moving out and like trying to get settled in, I want to like already be settled in in a routine and then by the time if that happens I can just like be running already you know and just keep going even harder at what I'm already doing so that's my justification for moving out at such a young age and like not waiting also the place that I wanted was available now and it's a really good time to move in people don't usually move in at this time so it's a, it's a better rate than I would get like when everyone moves out so yeah that's why obviously the next question is how did you move out you're 17 and I can't sign a lease legally because I'm under the age of 18 so yes my mom had to sign the lease and I'm just listening as an occupant even though she doesn't live here it's really stupid but that's how it works next question did you leave school I am currently still in school but I that's all I'm gonna say that's all I'm gonna say about that this question is a pretty obvious one how did you afford it now this one Okay, I'm not gonna lie, questions like this make me uncomfortable. I mean, a lot of my friends were like, how are you budgeting for that? Like, how are you making enough money? I don't know why the topic of money makes me uncomfortable. I don't think it should make people uncomfortable, but I feel like anytime you're making money off of something, especially if it's like, like a fun job, people get mad at you for making money, and I don't really understand like why that's a thing that happens so regularly, but I can afford this place literally because of you. <laughs> this sounds so cheesy, but like, if you weren't watching this, I couldn't do this. So it is YouTube and working with brands. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm super duper, duper grateful to be here. There's not like a second that I take this job for granted or like my life for granted. I realize how privileged I am and I'm not gonna like ever stop working this hard to always be able to do stuff like this, like this is just crazy. And I don't know, it was always my goal to make a life like this for myself. So the fact that like, this is like one of the first steps of that happening is just mind blowing to me. And I could like start crying in front of you if I wanted to, but I've already done enough of that on my vlog channel. So I'll save all like the sappiness for that channel. Cause I just don't want to get like emotional on this channel, but yeah, that's how I afford it, I guess. Next question. How did your mom feel about you moving out? My mom is the most chill mom in the entire world. Basically everything that I want to do, as long as it's like, pretty reasonable, she is very supportive of. And I honestly don't know how she feels. She is a very independent woman and I know she will be fine. But when I was asking her like, are you gonna be sad about me moving out? She was like, no, like I'm so excited to like be living on my own and she's also gonna like be getting an apartment soon, probably something like that, I don't know. We're kind of like moving, we're all moving out basically and trying to find a new house. Wow, this video is so personal. <laughs> but 
yeah, I don't know if she's lying or not. I hope she's not. I think we'll honestly see each other more now that we moved out. Because, funny story, when my dad moved out, I actually felt like I got closer to him because we would, like, schedule times to see each other. Whereas, like, beforehand, when we were living together, we would barely see each other and we never scheduled times to, like, go out and have lunch or whatever. So, interestingly enough, when he moved out is when we got closer. So, maybe that will happen with my mom and I because I would definitely, like, make an effort to schedule weekly times that I get to see her because I love that woman with all my life and I am not as independent as I may seem. I'm gonna miss her so bad, like a little baby. And, yeah, love you, mom. Mama fam is the best. Oh, okay, this one's kind of fun. I want to talk to you guys about, like, my goals in this apartment because I have a long list of them. Let me go get it. Sorry this video is so basic. I literally just moved in and this is what you get. <laughs> Honestly, my vlog channel has better content than what you're getting right now, but like I said, moving in here will make my content better. I promise you that. So here's my little journal and I wrote down a little list of like all the goals I have for this apartment. My number one goal for this place is, this is gonna sound so cheesy, get ready to puke in your mouth, is to love people in this place. And I know that's, you're probably like, what, is, what does that mean, Haley? I just want to like have a nice space, like this is my living room, and I want to have nice chairs and couches, and like I'm gonna prepare food for them, and I just want it to be like a safe space where people can like come and stay with me, or just like hang out with me, and we can just like, I don't know, love each other and grow together, and I just never felt like my house was very accommodating for guests, and I was always like really insecure about my house in that way, because there was like nowhere for them to sit, we didn't really have food, and it was just like, I don't know, it didn't feel like a nice place to really have quality time with people, and maybe it's one of my like introverted attributes, but I really, really, really love like one-on-one -on -one time or just like a small group of friends, and that's my favorite thing in the world. Like I think people and relationships are the most important thing in your life and if I could like have a space where I could like cater towards that and nurture that like that just makes me so happy so I definitely don't want to be selfish with my space or anything like I want it just to be really welcoming so that's my biggest goal I want to learn how to cook there is a beautiful kitchen behind me and I have been raised on eating out and I'm at that age where my metabolism is slowing down and it doesn't just go through me anymore I see it on my body when I don't want it to be there so I definitely want to learn how to cook and get in shape because there's a gym right below me there is just no excuse anymore to not be taking my care of myself like that I'm going to be vlogging like crazy I never felt like my house was cute enough to like vlog in or anything like that and I was always really insecure about it and I was like I just don't look like one of those like cute vloggers you know so now that I am independent and will have like a cute decorated space I cannot wait to like document it all and I'm just so excited to like create so much content here and I think it's gonna be a freaking blast and then all my other goals have to do with business stuff that you guys will see fun projects coming out so yeah. Do you have a roommate? No. Is Ryan going to live with you? No. What are you most excited for? I'm most excited to, as of now, I'm most excited to decorate, obviously. Um, my furniture should be coming in within like two weeks and boy oh boy, my vlog channel is gonna pop off with those like decorating videos. I'm making a, like a main channel apartment tour, but I'm super excited for that. And then I'm also just really excited to like get into the routine of things. Obviously I'm excited for Ryan to freaking move here already. That would be nice. I've only been recording for 11 minutes. Do I just talk really fast? I think that's basically it. If you're not subscribed to Haley Fam Vlogs, you're just missing out on so much content, like almost daily content. Let's see if there's any more questions. This is a really big question. No, I'm not in LA. I still live in Texas and I could honestly make an entire video of why I do not want to move to LA anymore. If you have been subscribed for a while, you would know that I thought I was gonna move to LA since I was like 10 years old. But then like a series of events and thought processes went through my brain that I was like, why? would I ever want to move there? One of the big reasons being because I want to travel like crazy. And if I'm gonna do that, why would I pay like the crazy expensive rent there if I'm just gonna be gone for most of it? Like I have friends who are moving to LA and they're paying way more than I am for like a studio apartment. And I have a two bedroom. Like it's crazy prices up there. The list could go on and on. The people there are like exactly what you would expect. It's like the LA stereotype. Like everyone's just trying to like clout climb, blah, blah, blah. That's all true and I would, I don't know why I was naive enough to think that like that wasn't true. I just, I guess I always just see the best in people. It might be 
a naive thing to think, I guess, but yeah, um, unfortunately, with my experience, the, the stereotypes in LA are very real, which is really sad. I don't want to leave my mom. I really just like want to be here with my my family, my friends, and all my friends are gonna like graduate and go to college anyway, and I want to be here with them. As of now, I will be here. I am open to the idea of living elsewhere, but not LA. Are you and Ryan dating? Yes. How do you feel about paying bills? Terrified. My mom was like, Ailey, you can't go to sleep easy now. You've got bills to pay. You need to make money consistently. And I was like, oh shoot, you're right. Also, no one ever warned me how expensive moving out is. Like I kind of already went on a rant about this on my vlog, but I was so stressed out to move. And like before I decided to move, I thought it'd be like all rainbows and butterflies, but no, like I spent so much money on furniture because I don't have any, like literally any. Couches are expensive, beds, mattresses, tiny things, chairs, lamps, little tables, everything costs money. And then on top of that, I have to go to the store and buy groceries for the first time. I need to buy like simple stuff, toilet paper, dish soap, a freaking toaster, just like so many things. So I don't recommend doing this unless you're like, you have a game plan or you have a lot of money saved up. But I, I just, I don't know. I think I'm like kind of into taking risks. I think it's fun. I think it forces you to grow as a person and I'm always down for that. There it is. I don't really know what else to say. I'm gonna be honest. I've just been trying to get this video to 10 minutes. Um. <laughs> I will have quality content for you very soon, especially on the vlog channel. I have already mentioned that place a million times, but for good reason. I honestly am kind of putting more effort into that than this channel as of now, but I cannot wait for life now. I hope you guys are excited. I hope you know, like, I won't, like, change. I'm not gonna be, like, cocky now or just change. I don't know. I'm so, I don't know. Same, same old me, just kind of a cuter place, you know? So, yeah. If you're not already and you want to join the family, you can subscribe because I post every fam Friday. And I'm going to Florida next week, so you know when that happens, my Instagram kind of like gets better because I actually have someone there to take my picture. And I don't have that here, so if you want to go follow up, follow up on everything there. I am so quirky on Instagram, so it's really great. Um, yeah, and there's just so many exciting things happening, so many fun places to travel to in November, December. And I am just, I could not be more happy and grateful and just like excited about life. I love you so much. Okay, I'm just getting more cringy as this video goes on. Um, <laughs> let's just not get emotional. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you guys next week Friday. Bye. My baby smoked some cough and she said I got baby lungs. She asked me if I got a lie. Yeah, my favorite one. That Ronson princess, she the best to never trade for none.